Welcome to World Gospel Broadcasting Network. I am your brother in Christ, Abanda Ibn, broadcasting from our studios. Today I'll be talking about the suffering of African preacher. Who, why, and the way forward. Dear brothers and sisters, our African brothers and sisters are really suffering. And they are suffering because some of us are even the cause of their suffering. When you look at the situation of the churches of Christ in Africa, it's a sad situation that needs urgent attention. We now see that preachers suffer a lot, with many of them hardly having square meal per day. What are the causes of this suffering in Africa? Why do African preachers suffer a lot? Number one, our church organization, the autonomy that we read in the Bible has been misinterpreted and is punishing so many of us today. When you post a realistic need that many of the people will come and comment there, God bless you, God do this. Nobody reacts because congregations are autonomous. Not to talk about small, small congregations that are struggling in villages. Who is there to help them? Nobody. Another thing is the evil, greedy, unscrupulous missionaries to Africa. There are some missionaries that come to Africa but to eat money. They come to Africa to live their lives, come as tourists, not as missionaries who are coming to preach the gospel. That's why when they come here, they are interested in just taking pictures, take pictures here and there, so that they can show it to the congregation that they are doing something. Let me ask you American elders when you send your missionaries to Africa do you ask us what we want or you impose what you like and what you want that's true when they come here they impose they don't ask us what do you people want what is what are your needs what are your problems they just impose anything upon us because they have the money and so they can just come and do anything that they want when a good missionary comes to any place he asks the people their major preoccupation to solve it for them and not coming to come and do what you like. Do you send these missionaries to congregations or to individuals? Because we see the way missionaries now come, lure around individuals, make these individuals millionaires, make them have money, and the greater work stays undone. Many of the missionaries come to individuals, work only with them, and impose on the congregation. That is true. They come and see some few or a single person start working with that person, trust that person, only the person recommends who to be supported. And if these people are dubious people, they will not know. They are criminals, they will not know because they have trusted them, they work only with them, and they wouldn't want to work with any other person. Missionaries must be flexible and work with congregations and not individuals. And that's why you see they come and fake report here and go back abroad. Many people in the Church of Christ will go to hell for the evil they have committed against the Church of Jesus Christ. This show of pictures, they are just interested in pictures. And sometimes the foolishness of the elders in America is overwhelming, only interested in pictures. What, what are the pictures all about? We need to do the real work on the ground. When they bring you their report, do you care to inquire from those you have sent them to work with? Do you care? When they come with those reports, do you care to find out? Or you just take the report and adopt everything that is there you accept? Before a missionary leaves a place, the congregation must get these three things adequately done. One, the congregation that is living or where he has gone to work, the congregation must be self-governing, be able to govern themselves. The congregation must be self-propagating self-sustaining before a missionary leaves many missionaries come here and leave congregations are not self-governing they are not self-propagating they are not self-sustaining we keep begging we keep begging we keep begging we now have enough bible schools what we need now is for the american congregations to empower the preachers and be structures we don't have structures in africa african brethren are struggling but it's really difficult 
our own brothers are also the, the problem of the suffering of the African preacher. Yes, many of our brothers. Who made them to be the cause? You, the American church and the elders. You want to send something, you only ask him. Yes, because you trusted only him. If he hates somebody, if he hates a brother, it's not those who speak the truth. Even though we talk the truth in this church, there are not many people. Many people in this church are not truthful. If he hates a brother, if he hates a colleague preacher, he will not recommend him for support. Now, since people have decided to trust individuals and take them as Jesus Christ, how, how, how will we cope? Some, they give things to them to send to the preachers on the field. And they don't give them. They consume them. They don't get to those preachers. Or they even subtract them. Why don't you get to people direct? Why are you using human mediators? It's not good. You congregation in America. You have created an indirect headquarters with general overseers, but who are now demigod on preachers and congregation. That's why those who want to support, they just impose. They don't ask. You, you, what you recommend for, they don't do it. They do, but what is it, they, they like? If you have found out that a preacher is genuine, why not send whatever you have to him directly? Why using a mediator? Why? Why using a mediator? This African need to change. But Africans must stand on their feet. Those who are eating just want to eat. They don't care about others. Congregations are suffering. Cameroon is a a, a, critic, a, a, a critical example to watch at. There are numerous, more than, I'm saying 80% of congregations that have building. They are either washing one kitchen or one in one toilet, I mean in, in, in one product house somewhere, where when they are cooking food, pepper is entering people's nose, they cannot wash it well. People are suffering here and there. The situation is terrible. Brethren are trying, but they cannot go because of the, the, the situation of the, of the church. And the church has stayed to grow because they have not invested well in the church. I you know to convert people now is not easy. And morally, our low standard people, sometimes they are com converted that they cannot really do their best. Because even the time that they work to construct their own houses, before talking about to come and construct the church house now, it's a difficult situation. Even when they raise the money, it's not enough. So we need to stand up. And you, the Americans, God has blessed you. And God has blessed you because he wants you to bless the world. Use it well and help the situation in Africa, in Africa. Things are not going and preachers are suffering. The better you start supporting them, the better for you. Some of you don't do the work that they do. So you stay in your comfort zone. If you can down evangelize through sending your money, God will, God's name be praised. And you see that the work will go on well and God will bless us all. This is just the part one. We'll be coming with more of such. Thank you for watching and listening to World Gospel Broadcasting Network. I am a brother in Christ, Abanda Edwin, hoping that you have more interest on our platform and why not help us so that we can get on satellite, so that we can have good studio, so that we can start broadcasting the gospel and start portraying images of the things that are truly happening on the field so that you can see and you can assist and help the church to grow to the glory of God. God bless you and God bless you bountifully.